Hello everyone, how are you today? Well, normally the vacuum cleaners I buy from this particular supplier are wrapped in a black shrink wrap, but to ring the changes, it's been wrapped in blue. So, any of my regular viewers will know if I've received an item that's wrapped in black shrink wrap, the outcome isn't always a good one. Let's hope that the blue will mean it's good luck for me when I unwrap this Electrolux vacuum cleaner. The box is tatty, but let's hope that the vacuum cleaner not only works, doesn't have any bits missing, isn't damaged, isn't dirty. There was um, quite a few pictures of this on the listing, which I was able to study, and it looked okay, maybe a bit dusty here and there. This is a Swedish made Electrolux cylinder vacuum. And yes, it's showing signs of being stored somewhere a bit damp. And yes, it's got that smell, the smell that is so familiar. Just, oh, I don't think it is damp, it just feels a bit cold. It's just come off the back of a van, so... Um, oh, that smell. So, I've never owned one of these. I only, I bought it on a whim as I always do. Well, not always, but often buy a new vacuum or an older vacuum. It's just the fact that, you know, it's an older model, but unused. That's why I like them. This is, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, but it's an Electrolux Bolido. Bolido? Bolido. I don't know what that means. It could mean something. I must look that up actually. I'll look it up in a minute. It's, uh, I think it's model 4510, possibly. And it's the most unusual coloured vacuum. I've no idea how to describe that colour. Let's have a look at uh, the side. Not a lot. I don't know if it's got the wattage on this. No, that's the voltage. But it is made in Sweden, that's for sure. Oh dear. Honestly. You know, there's signs of mould and... It's, it's just dusty. You'd think they'd have just wiped a cloth over it, wouldn't you? But anyway, I shouldn't expect anything better from this company. Right, I think some hot soapy water hopefully will solve the problem. So, here we have quite a nice length of... What do you call that? It's a hose, that's it. I haven't been doing this for very long. I, can't, I don't know the technical terms. That's called a hose. And it's a flexible hose and it swivels at the cleaner end and unless I'm very much mistaken yes it swivels at the handle end too there's the handle there's your suction relief valve there suction control it does have electronic control as well and this goes into the machine I'm assuming it also will swivel 360 degrees when it's in the vacuum Right, well, so far it all looks intact. Here is a very uh, sturdy telescopic metal tube. All right, nice ratchet action. And looking inside it, there's no signs of any rust. I don't know if we'll be able to see from... I can't... Oh, ooh, nearly. Oh, that way. Up, up, down, there. Oh, there. Just about... Oh, there. Whew. There we go. That's okay. Right, let's just uh, condense that back down for a minute. Hang on. There we are. So, the only other nozzle I'm expecting, yes, is the main carpet floor nozzle. There will be some onboard accessories. Pretty basic. Uh, plastic based carpet floor nozzle. You've got a squeegee that's always permanently sticking out by the looks of it. And foot operated switch to lower the brush at the front. And of course you've got your litter pickers 
the red litter pick is either side of the suction channel so that uh, squeegee always stays down whether it's on carpet or hard floor mode so there we go a nice bit of Electrolux branding I've seen um, another YouTube video of this but it wasn't this colour but it was under the Volta brand and I think the YouTuber that showed it is from Finland I think I'm not 100% sure so perhaps in some European countries Electrolux I think Electrolux cleaners were branded Volta right it's hideous hideous colour looks all right apart from it just needing a bit of a polish up it's got the instructions and it's even got a spare Electrolux S bag looks very small there we are they're probably um, fleece bags nowadays you can get for this you see <laughs> This was in the box. Why, before packaging it, didn't they just pop that over to protect it a bit? But never mind. I'll just check inside. I don't think there's anything else, but nothing seems to be missing as long as the tools are inside. What? I don't know. I don't know what colour you'd describe that as. Um, it's not quite pink. It's not quite orange. It just needs a little bit of a polish up, which I'm going to do now. I'll pause. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. It seems the filter's in place. It's got a fitted plug, so it's um, not that old. There is a fitted plug on the end of the thin cable. Just going to get a cloth to this, wipe it down, and then we'll look at this Electrolux Balido in more detail. Well here she is, she polished up nice, just had to get a little bit of uh, car polish in a microfiber cloth and all in all seems okay. It's a pretty solid little vacuum, I mean this handle especially when you pick it up it's not the lightest but it just feels like it's, it's been well made Now, obviously it's made in Sweden not China so being Swedish I don't know what reputation Sweden has for quality goods but uh, I expect their reputation is far better than China's but a lot of good things have come out of Sweden three things that I can think of that I like well no I only like two of them um, IKEA which I do like Volvo which I am um, they're okay but I haven't never never had a Volvo or have probably never sat in one but they're solid cars aren't they and of course the best things come out of Sweden in my opinion is ABBA. So you can picture lovely Agneta or Frida vacuuming in between singing their songs with an Electrolux Bolido. So it's, uh, I like it apart from the colour. The, one, the other one I've seen on um, YouTube I think it was a sort of a blue navy blue colour. There is one thing wrong with this obviously we can never you know never expect 100% perfection for some reason, the rating stick has gone. I'll check the box later in case it's sort of peeled itself off. But all those details that would have been on there, I think, like serial number, are printed on the box. Let's have a look inside, shall we? There's a little thing you lift here, and it opens up. Now the bag will seal itself if I pull it out. Can we just see? Just about seal up. It. Very simple dirt disposal with a bag. You pull it out, it's sealed itself up, drop that into the bin and slide in a new bag. No fuss, no mess. But it's a small bag. And inside we have the pre-motor filter. And the motor inside is lovely and shiny, no rust, so no moisture has got into that motor. And there's a little um, pre-motor filter there, which just fits, slots in. There's uh, three little lugs to slot it in too, and there's a little bit that sticks up that I think you use to pull the filter off. It's probably not supposed to be washed, that filter. It's supposed to be replaceable, I expect. But that sort of material, I'm sure you can wash. 
Right, so that just sticks up. There's a little bit that sticks up. I don't know if you can quite see it. And uh, so we'll just pop the bag in. It's got this little orange holder, so we'll just slot it in. And obviously there's a little fail-safe device, I've just noticed. A little spring-loaded part there, which obviously stops you from closing the bag door without a bag in place. So we'll make sure the bag is slotted in and fold down inside is a customer helpline 08706 055 055. I wonder if that's still valid. It's only oh there is a date wheel just in the lid. Oh, let's have a look, see if I can see it. I'm gonna have to hold it a bit closer to my eyes. Um no, that doesn't help at all. It doesn't have any arrows pointing. I assume this is um, like a 90s vacuum. It's not uh, certainly not an 80s, and I don't think it's a, a 2000s vacuum. I think this is a 90s vac. So, there's the bag. Under this flap, we have three separate cleaning tools. I like to see that. You've got your little all-purpose nozzle, your stairs and upholstery with two litter pickers finished in a nice grey to match the other grey pieces very short stubby little crevice tool and finally a dusting brush which is well it's quite uh, quite stiff brushes okay for some things that's not too bad at least it's got three separate tools inside rather than a silly two or three in one tool. That's what I always like to see in a suction vacuum. So I do like this handle, it's slightly spring loaded. Um, it's very solid and it's nice to carry. You can carry the machine here, it's got a can of carry handle here, which is handy. But I do like a vacuum that's got a carry handle at the point of balance. It does make it easier, especially when you're cleaning the stairs, to hold it with one hand. Now the carry handle also incorporates the auto cord rewind. Just under here is a little button. So when you press, so you can press here, but you probably get the best action if you press near here where the symbol is to rewind the cord. And uh, you've got what electronics call Rolltronic, which is just a fancy word for this thing. Rolltronic. So you've got a plus and a negative. So obviously you can use your foot to vary the power from minimum up to maximum. You've got your bag check indicator as well in green, which I assume will turn red or orange. And uh, micro filter, it says. So the other filter is located at the back here. There's a little switch that says filter. So that comes right off. It is an unusual colour that, isn't it? I just cannot describe the colour. It's not orange, it's not red, it's not salmon pink. Ah, so it's a very thin filter. I expect further up the range, because there probably were more than this, this particular model, um, I expect there was, would have been a HEPA filter available because there's certainly space in this cavity for a much thicker pleated filter. The motor's all tucked away, I expect. Well, I don't know how noisy it's going to be, but it's all sealed up and I can see there's sound insulating foam around the motor as well. So we'll see anyway. Now, I didn't see which way up the filter went. Does it go down that way? No, it doesn't. It definitely goes up that way. With the little tab uppermost. And then let's locate the grill. There we go, that's in place. You've got two protruding bits. Can you see them sticking out there? That'll help provide stability when the machine is stood upright for either cleaning stairs or when you're storing it. Talking of storing, we have two storage, well one storage and one parking slot to my looks. So the storage bracket is on the back as it normally is and the parking slot, where's that? Oh, it's on the side on this model. 
Sometimes it's on the back of the cleaner. But on this one, it's situated on the side. Now, this is not a deluxe model, so it doesn't turn on and off automatically when you remove it, unlike some of the other Electrolux, the Excelios, some of those did that. I'm not sure if there was a more deluxe Bolido. But anyway, so it all seems fine and dandy. So what I'm going to do, folks, is plug this little cleaner in. Hopefully, it's going to work. Because I don't think the seller will have tried it, just assuming it's going to work. But I'm just a bit dubious as to why there's no serial number on. But as I say, in time, it could have just dropped off. Ah, oh, well, that's why. Well, at least it's there. It's been stuck, so it has come off, but it's been saved, so that's good. I don't know if I'm in focus. Focus, focus. Anyway, uh, what's the wattage? So, oh, it's a 1400 watt NOM, 1600 watt max. So the serial, if you, anyone can date it, is 209-00484, product number 907310-40-01, made in Sweden, type B01, is the instructions anyway folks, just opens out, it's showing a foreign plug, two pin plug on that particular illustration, don't think I'll need to know much with the instructions, changing the filters, doesn't say about washing them, changing them. Right then folks, I will find a suitable socket. Ooh. Uh, have I got a free one? Ooh. Yes I have, just behind here. Excuse me for a moment, whoops a daisy. Oh, what have I done? Turn the light off. We need a light on the subject. I'll have to uh, unplug something behind my television. Oh, that's the light. <laughs> I would choose that one, wouldn't I, folks? I'll unplug the DVD player. There we go. Um. going to say how do you turn it off obviously it was in the on position I was just thinking where's the off switch where's the off switch and I'd forgotten it's in a very odd place it's a bit hard to see it's got a little bit of a, a, a electric smell but it's not it seems quite quiet it was on the minimum can you see that that little sort of lump bump there if you will here That is odd, isn't it? Because, I wonder how that works. That's very strange. There's nothing underneath that. That is just a raised bump on the tool cover and underneath, there's nothing. And when you close it, there's nothing that it presses on inside here to turn it on. So it must be Uh, it must be somewhere, somewhere here, because when, when you press this down, this whole top moves. Ah, uh, so look, I can turn it on off here, look. I can't that side, so I think the switch is somewhere underneath that side. It's a bit unusual, isn't it? Anyway, that's, it's got a new vacuum smell, I don't think there's anything to be worried about. That's, um, that's on its minimum. It's a nice little cleaner. I'm glad I took a punt on this. There is a slight, it has polished up, there is a very slight scuff. You won't be able to see it on camera. I don't think I've ever seen one of these actually until I saw the eBay listing. Not being an Electrolux person when this was current. But I quite like it, it's quirky. Bit different, isn't it? Right, let's uh, turn it on and boost up the power. Oh, I 
At least the check bag indicator works, it's fluctuating as I'm blocking the end of the hose. Some of the Electrox cleaners I've had, they, that doesn't seem to move. Um, right, it's on max, so I'm just going to turn it on and to see if it has any soft start. No, it doesn't start straight off on full power. But that sounds nice. For a relatively modern cleaner, this is no way you could call this vintage. It does have a nice tone to it and it, it winds down nicely. So it's a nice swivel, 360 degree of course. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I think it cost, it's about 18 pounds I ended up winning this for, but then I had to pay 12.95 postage. In goes the hose into the tube. How do you mean? There, so, there we go. Yeah, I like it. Can't say I like the colour, but I like the shape of the cleaner. Let's give it a quick go of the carpet. I will do a demo of this later on at some point. Pretty pleased with that. So I say it's a smell a little bit um, you know it smells of new motor. It's got the new motor smell. I don't think it's anything to be concerned with. Let's just unplug now. There we are. And check. As long as the auto flex rewind works, this is one purchase from the infamous person that I'll be quite pleased with, I think. Well, it stopped, but that's okay because it's got tangled up. Just gently ease it in. Ooh. Come on, oi! Just about. It's bound to be a little bit sluggish. It's been in its box for a lot longer than it was expecting to. I, when it left the factory in Sweden to go to wherever it went to in England. I expect it was thinking it was going to be in somebody's house fairly soon after arriving on our shores, but no, it, it didn't end up in somebody's house for many, many years. And it's ended up in a, a nutter's house, hasn't it? But, Electrolux Bolido, you will get some dirt in you, but then you're going to be cleaned up, polished up and stored away somewhere nicer than you were stored, nowhere damp, and you will have a lot of company, a lot of Electrolux cleaners. In fact, you'll have most in common with my um, Excelio, probably made in the same factory as you. So there we go. Thumbs up for this unboxing. I'm pretty pleased with the Electrolux Balido. If you have any information about this cleaner, if you would like to comment underneath, please. Uh, fill me in on any gaps. But all in all, it's a, a nice little quirky vacuum, relatively quiet, and it seems to have a good suction too. And it's, it's also, above all, it seems well built. Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at the Electrolux Bolido Z4510 vacuum cleaner. Please thumb up this video. If you don't subscribe, please do so, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new floor care video. Also, if you do subscribe, please click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll get an email notification as soon as I upload a new video to my channel. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.